Hey there, my name is Katie, and this is the How to Be a Minimalist YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoy, and if you're interested in this type of video, I have lots of other food videos on this channel. There will be lots more coming, so don't forget to I can't say that word. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to get my other videos that come out. I'm going on a brief trip and we'll be taking a flight there and back. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to stay on plan. I thought about this for a long time because I, if you've been watching this channel, I've been working on my health for a very, very long time. And in this last couple of months, I have been very, very strict with my food and doing a great job. So I didn't want that to get um, altered. I didn't want my plan to get altered at all while I was gone. After I created my plan, I decided that what I really needed to do was not only go shopping when I got there, but also needed to take some stuff with me. I definitely needed to take some stuff with me. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat on the plane as well as what I will be taking for those staples that I want to eat while I am there. I will be on the plane during breakfast and so I'm going to take a simple oatmeal and then for my lunch I'm going to make this oh I'm so excited about it I just had this idea when I was falling asleep last night to make an Asian noodle salad to take on the plane I think that it will absorb the liquid from my dressing and I think it's going to be delicious so I'm really excited about that I also wanted to make sure that I took something to snack on, so I'm going to show you my crackers, but I'm gonna save that for a whole different recipe. Otherwise, this video will be really long. The recipe I am going to show you, though, is my chocolate granola recipe. It fits right into this plan that I have. It may not fit into your diet plan, but it fits into my diet plan, and it is really good with some fruit cut on top and some, like, cashew milk. So good. So I'm gonna show you how to make that and I'll show you kind of what else I am going to take with me. This cold Asian noodle salad that I'm making, I'm very excited, I really am very excited about it. I'm making this early so that I can see if it actually tastes good and to see if the liquid gets absorbed because I can't have liquid on the plane and all that sort of thing. So I'm just experimenting right now, but I think it's gonna be really good. So these are the noodles I use. They are made with millet and brown rice. That's it. So it's brown rice flour and organic millet flour. That's it. I wanted to stay within my plan and even though I'm not having processed foods generally speaking right now, this is one exception I'm willing to make because it's still just those grains. There are no added ingredients. This salad dressing comes together so fast and it's generally stuff that I have on hand. These are all things that are pantry staples for me personally. Um, word to the wise, check your peanut butter powder, make sure that it's just like dry roasted peanuts or roasted peanuts or peanuts, I don't even know. But um, a lot of the peanut butter powders, they have a lot of sugar in them or other ingredients. The one that I use only has dry roasted peanuts. So check that out if you are wanting to get rid of sugar. I quickly made the dressing while the noodles were cooking and then I just put them in a bowl after I rinsed them off and let them cool off a little bit where I'd made the dressing. I gave them a really good toss and then just decided to put that in the fridge covered. And I actually have to go shopping to get the other things for the salad and a couple of other things that I need to take with me. So I can't show you the rest of that exactly right now, but you know, it's a video. It'll be like in 30 seconds probably. So don't worry about it. Okay, let's talk about breakfast when I actually get there. I'm gonna be gone for a couple of mornings. I'll need to make breakfast. I want it to be easy. I don't wanna to have to really think about it. So I'm going to take some oatmeal packets that I make here. It will be very simple. When I get there and do my little grocery shopping, I'm going to get bananas and some apples or berries to slice up and put on top of there. So that'll be really, really simple. Right now though, I'm just gonna put together these little packets. I was gonna take jars and I don't want them to break. I do not wanna open up my suitcase and find a bunch of glass broken in there. And I also am taking just a carry-on, so I don't want to have too much stuff and not be able to take the food that I wanna take with me. So I'm just gonna make these up in these little treat bags that we have left over from Valentine's Day and use them that way. I'll need three of those. In each bag, I'm just gonna put a half cup of 
rolled oats. This is my favorite way to eat them. I don't like the quick cooking oats or anything. They get like ugh, gelatinous a little bit. That's gross. I am going to make an exception just this time. I have cut out coconut sugar in my diet currently, but I am going to make an exception and put some coconut sugar in each of the bags because I don't want to buy maple syrup when I'm there. It will end up being wasted and I have coconut sugar here. I just feel like it's gonna be okay for me to have that in my oatmeal for a couple of days. I'm also going to put in just a tiny pinch of salt because I love the way it enhances the flavors as well as sprinkle in some cinnamon. I'm gonna pack these up and then they're pretty much done until I get to my destination and do my little bit of shopping that I'm gonna do. Another thing that I wanted to take was something that I could snack on and I've created this recipe for crackers. It's really good. They remind me very much of wheat thins. So I'm going to make those. I don't normally eat these on a day-to-day -day basis, mostly because like crackers are a little bit of a labor of love. <laughs> They're simple to make, but if I made crackers to feed my family, like I would never be able to keep up. My kids are in that kind of phase where they need snacks to keep them going. They're very active kids and you know, I just, I can't keep up. I don't eat crackers though because almost every cracker, I don't think I've ever found a cracker that didn't have added oil. Besides that, they're processed and a lot of calories. For the trip though, I wanna make sure that I have enough food so that I don't go astray. <laughs> so I designed this cracker recipe. It uses a few nuts instead of any oil or butters or anything like that. And I really love the way that these have turned out. I like, this is one of those recipes that I did it one time and the first time it was perfect. I don't, I don't know how that happened. It was amazing. My instincts were just on that day, I guess, but they are really delicious. I'm going to make some of these and take them with me that way. If I need a snack or just need a kind of a replacement snack meal or something like that, I can have them and have something healthy and oil free. You want to know something crazy? I just burnt my little pinky. And I put it under cold water first, but then I was like, I have aloe. I know that's good for burns, so, and I had this ragged looking leaf. Cut it off, stuck my pinky in there. You know what? The pain is definitely bearable when it's in there. And I mean, guys, the skin feels weird. I, I crisped up my skin, it's burnt so bad. Um, anyway, uh, but if I just keep my pinky in there, it doesn't hurt. If I take it out, after about two minutes, it starts throbbing like crazy. So, get yourself an aloe, this is excellent. Okay, it's been a while since I was actually standing behind the camera. I have my beautiful bowl of crackers. Look at them. They have an awesome crunch to them. You can hear that snap. That one's even still warm. They're amazing. Okay, let's get into this granola recipe. It is very easy to make. I think that that maple syrup really helps to get it crystallized, a little crunchy, caramelized, whatever. It kind of gets it to that candy type of a texture that has a little crunch to it. I love this stuff. My favorite way to make it is with banana and strawberries cut on top and then really nicely cold cashew milk poured over the top. It is so good that way. My husband likes just bananas, but I like the strawberries. I think it's really nice. And the fruit ends up giving it a little more sweetness, which is nice. Okay, let's get started. You are going to begin with three cups of oats in a medium sized bowl. You also will add to that one third of a cup of cocoa powder. I've never tried cacao powder, but I love cacao powder and I assume that it would be really good. Also, this leaves a mild, well, I think it's a mild chocolate flavor. My husband really only likes milk chocolate and he has never complained that it's too dark. If you really like dark chocolate, you might wanna add another tablespoon or two of cocoa powder in there, give that a stir and then set aside. You're also going to add in a scant teaspoon of salt. Adjust this to what you would like. If you're SOS free, then don't put it in and you'll be fine. I just like the way it enhances the flavors. Stir that up and set it aside. In a small bowl, I just used a cereal sized bowl, but you can use, you know, something a little bigger if you'd like to. You are going to add in a quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of peanut butter powder. You also are going to add in one quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of plant-based milk. I use my cashew milk, which I will leave the recipe to in the description box of this video. I also add in three quarters of a cup of maple syrup 
everyone is different with the amount of sweetness that they like. If you are really trying to cut out sugar as much as possible, you can trim this down a little bit. You're also going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla and then whisk this until it's nice and stirred up. to the dry ingredients and then whisk that really well. I love my Dutch dough whisk. You need to stir this until it's combined. If you find that your mixture is pretty moist, you can just let it sit for a while and it will actually absorb some of that liquid. If it's not, just go ahead and get ready to put it on your parchment covered baking tray. Once that's all combined, just stick it right onto your baking sheet and you're ready to go. You want to put this into a preheated oven. I like to put it in at 375. I bake it for about 15 minutes, give it a good stir, and then check it every five to 10 minutes, stirring in between until like some of the pieces are looking a little darker. You can tell that some of them are crunchy. If you pull a piece out, let it cool a little bit and then eat it. If it has a nice crunch to it, then you know it's done. You can burn this granola, so be careful about that. And as it cools, it will actually harden up a little bit. Because it is chocolate and dark colored, you can't really see if it's burning very well or not. So just be careful, stir it every five to 10 minutes after you have done that initial 15 minutes, and then you should be good to go. It's, it's just a little bit hard to tell. You can put it back in the oven though, once it's completely cooled, you can bake it again. If it's not quite right, it's totally fine to bake it longer once you have let it cool for like an hour, 45 minutes or something like that. You can just reheat the oven, put it back in. So I would, I would opt for undercooking and then overcooking because burnt granola is like not everybody's favorite. Do your best with it that way and just keep an eye out for those pieces kind of on the edges of your pan that are looking really nice and like a little bit darker and maybe a little smaller and crunchier. This is just after 15 minutes. You can see it's just not that dark. A lot of moisture is still in there. You can see it coming off in the steam. You just want to kind of break it up like big clumps like that. You want to break them up unless you like big clumps of granola. That's good, you just, it won't cook as fast that way. See these edges? They're a little darker and a little crispier. Okay, this granola is ready to be taken out. See how this kind of got a little burnt? And it'll be okay. Um, that, you don't want all of it to look like that, but along the edges, that's kind of when you know, okay, it's time to be done. Also, it just feels more crispy. I hope that you have a good idea of what this is like just based off of these videos for cook time. This is really delicious. This is my favorite dessert that I eat now with the strict way that I'm eating. It is so good and filling and delicious and satisfying. You can eat a whole bowl and it just, it feels like you're eating almost like a bowl of ice cream or something. Not because it tastes like ice cream, but just it's that amount of like just just sitting there eating a whole bunch of yumminess. I really like this. So I hope you give it a try and I hope you enjoy it. I hope that you enjoyed this, what I'm gonna take on my trip video. It was kind of spontaneous. I also really wanted to get out the chocolate granola recipe. I feel like it's a really, really decent recipe, especially for weight loss. If you're doing plant-based weight loss, it's it's like awesome. So I hope that you enjoy that. Please let me know in the comments if you try it. I hope it works out well for you. I hope it gave you some ideas of what you can take on a trip in the plane, whatever you are doing for travel. I also feel like a lot of these would be really great to take to work. So even if you aren't going on a trip, it could just make your work week a little bit easier, especially if you have to take your food with you and are trying to have some things prepped for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. You all have been so amazing and supportive with your comments, your thumbs up, your subscribes. I am very honored. Thank you very much for supporting this channel and just kind of um, what I'm working on here. I really appreciate it so much. I hope you have a great minimalist week and remember it's all about the experiences, not the stuff.